uh, in this lecture we are going to create uh, a find the difference game in which there will be two pictures two similar kind of pictures that will be showed to the user and he has to find out the differences uh, between those two pictures the various differences uh, that are there between those two pictures so this is the first screen the user is going to come across when he will open the app on his device and you know these are uh, various levels that the uh, that that will be visible to the user when he will log in into the app now here as you can see there are three uh, 12 levels which are visible to us if you want to create more levels so for that you can create a scrolling background uh, like this let me just show it to you so this is how uh, you can create a scrolling uh, background so as to define more levels if you want to define more than 12 levels you can uh, you know create a scrolling background like this let's go back on the top uh, so let's start playing the game so this is the first level fine let's click this image and see what's gonna happen so we are going to come across this image now here as you can see the score is zero initially uh, let's start finding out the difference so for that I'm enlarging the screen the first difference is I guess you know there is a green colored uh, ball which is there on this uh, table but the, uh, we are not able to see any kind of ball here so I think this is a first difference let's hit this image and see what's gonna happen Boom. okay so the score has incremented by one let's now find out the other difference uh, this is a second difference I think fine let's hit this screen Boom. okay so you know these tick marks I'm able to see where I'm spotting the difference now let's try and find out the third difference okay so this is the third difference I think Boom. okay and the score has got incremented by three and right now it is three let's now find out the fourth difference this Boom. is the fourth one okay let's now find out the fifth difference uh, this Boom. is the fifth one I think the color of the pillow is different now let's try and find out the sixth difference where is that oh okay uh, as you can see here the this leaf is somewhat big in size as in comparison to this one so this Ooh. is the second difference now so this is a sound which you are going to hear in the background and you know once you are done with spotting all the six differences automatically you will be able to see this next button fine now uh, when you will click on this next button automatically you will move on the second level of this game let's move on to the second level so this is the second level this is the second image and as you can see the score has also got transferred on this screen so uh, this the score at present is six now let's spot the difference in this picture this is the first difference I think you know we are able to see uh, this thing over here but this is not getting reflected over here Boom. this is the first difference now let's find out the second difference let me enlarge the screen size for you guys you know here the books color is different so I think this is a second difference Boom. yes this is a second one now let's find out this third difference okay as you can see uh, here the shadow is uh, this the shadow of this rod is straight but here it is somewhat tilted so I think this is the third Boom. difference Am I absolutely correct okay this is the fourth one there is a leaf over here but we are not able to see any leaf over here so this Boom. this is a fourth difference 
Now let's find out the fifth one. Where is that? Okay, so here the color of the book is pink, but here it is somewhat green. Let's click here. Ooh. Yes, this is the fifth one. Now let's find out the sixth difference. Here, uh, you know, as you can see, this tool has got a pair of licks, but we do not have any pair of licks getting reflected here on this image for this tool. So I think this is a sixth difference. Hey. Absolutely correct. You know, the score has uh, moved to 12 and this next button is also visible to us. Instead of moving on to the next level, let's check out what is going to happen if we'll click on this back button. So we'll come back again on the main screen. Fine, so this is the first level. This is the second level. Okay, and this one is the third level. Likewise, you can configure all the levels which uh, you're able to see here. Fine. Now let's uh, check out the code with which uh, we have made this application find the difference so for that we have to move on to the code.org environment so this is uh, the first screen that you're seeing here so uh, for the scorecard for calculating the score we have made use of a variable name score and besides that uh, you know when you will come uh, when the person will hit this option one he is going to get redirected on this uh, option dash two screen sorry option one screen this is the first screen that the user is going to come across now here the user will not be able to see these tick marks initially just because I have defined these codes like this Okay, I have made use of the hide element property uh, for hiding them initially so that initially when the user will come on this image, these tick marks should not be visible to the user. Fine. So the uh, ID of this one is tick 4. The ID of this one is tick uh, 6. Similarly, if you will come on this image, the second image on this option 1. So here, the ID of these ticks are this one is tick 4, this one is tick 1, this one is tick dash 3. So I have made everything hidden. Fine. This is a whole code I have made use of. So there are six differences, and for all the six differences, I have defined this hide element property for uh, in order to hide them. So six are uh, six tick marks on this uh, image and six tick marks on this image. In total, there are 12 hide elements which I have defined over here. Besides, there is uh, one more hide element block I have defined for this next button. So if the score will uh, become six, then only this next level button will be visible to the user. Otherwise, he will not be able to see that. Fine. Now let's come on uh, what's going to happen when the user will hit this option 1 screen? This is option 1. Okay. Now if the user will hit this option 1, he is going to get redirected on this option 1 screen. That is this screen. Fine. And besides that, uh, you know the text I have defined. This is the uh, label that I have made use of for get for getting the score reflected on this screen. So the idea of this one is point. So automatically the text of the point will be set to the initial value of the score that is equal to zero. So initially the user will be able to see zero here. Fine. Now uh, if suppose fine this is a code that I have made use of in case the user uh, clicks anywhere on this image and if that point doesn't reflect the different the actual difference so what is going to happen the score uh, is going to get decremented by one fine <coughs> the way i've shown you no. like this no. fine the score is getting decremented by one 
Now let's come on this stick one. So initially, the, these sticks are not visible to the user. But when the user will hit this uh, tick one, you know, I have uh, defined a label box on this tick, tick mark, but it is not visible to us just because the text area is completely empty. So that is the reason that text, uh, tick one is not visible to us. But when the user will click on that tick one, what is going to happen? Uh, the, these ticks, this one and this one, tick dash one, it is going to be visible to the user. The tick one label box will go, uh, will get disappeared. And these are the sounds which the user will be able to hear. And the score will get incremented by one. Fine. Uh, besides, this is the, you know, uh, code which will set the text of this point label equal to the value of the score variable fine now if the score at this point is equals to equals to six what is going to happen we will be able to see this next button you know this is a code that i have made use of for getting this uh, next button visible to the user fine this is a code which i have made use of for all the buttons for all the tick marks that you are able to see here so this is for tick 2 fine this is the whole code that I've defined for tick 2 similarly this is for tick 3 this is for tick 4 okay and this one is for tick 5 everything is going to remain the same except the name of the IDs that I have defined for each and every tick mark. Okay. Every rest, everything is going to remain the same. This is for tick six. And finally, uh, this is the code that I've defined for this back button. Now, when the user will hit this back button, automatically he's going to move back on this uh, screen three. Fine. And in case the user uh, click on this next button, what is going to happen? He is going to get redirected on this option to screen. Now the similar the similar code I have defined for this uh, option to screen two. Okay, uh, these are the components for which I have defined these hidden blocks, hidden element blocks. So again, there are six differences in these two images that the user has to find out and for each difference I have defined two different hidden blocks one for this image and one for the image that you are able to see in the bottom this is the hidden block I have defined for the next two button so this button will be visible to the user only when the score will be equal to zero otherwise it will not be visible to the user this is a code that I've defined for this option two, which is there on this screen. So when the user will click hit this button, what is going to happen? He's going to get redirected on this option two screen. And if suppose he clicks on this image anywhere and that point doesn't reflect the correct difference. So what is going to happen automatically? One point or one marks are going to get deducted from the scorecard. So this is a code that I've defined for doing the same. This is again for tick one. There is a label called tick one on this uh, tick one button. T I C tick tick one button tick tick one image button. Fine. So when the user will click, hit this button, what is going to happen? Automatically, these two ticks are going to get visible to the user. Uh, the tick marks which are reflecting the differences, these two will be visible to the user, and the label box will go disappear and the score will uh, get incremented by one so if the score is equal to equal to zero equal to equal to 12 so then then only the next two this button is going to visible to the is going to be visible to the user otherwise it will remain hidden similar code i have defined for this tick two button also this is a code for tick two 
this is the code for tick 3 uh, the third difference for the third difference this is for the fourth difference this one is for the fifth difference this one is for the sixth difference uh, and now when uh, the user will uh, the, when this next button will be visible to the user if he will hit this button what is going to happen he is going to get redirected on this screen 5 where he will be able to see the image that he has to solve the question that he has to solve for uh, this level 5 fine uh, and here we have got a back button defined also so that the user can move back on this main screen if in case he wants to do the same fine so this is the whole code that I have made use of for this back 2 for this back 3 button and then this is for this option 3 button okay when the user will hit this option 3 automatically he is going to get redirected on this uh, screen 5 that is uh, level 3 fine so this is how you can code this game now the last thing that I would like to tell you is how I have designed that scrolling background so for designing that what you can do you can uh, you know put this image first of all you have to define a text area you know this is a text area just behind this image and on that text area you can define an image now the width and height of so you know the width and height of this uh, image is uh, this is the width 300 and this is the height of this image 450 now if you want to make a scrolling background then what you have to do you have to define one more image see I have defined one more image but it is not visible to us at present it is present just below this image and the you know the position the y position of this that image the second image that I have defined on this screen 3 is starting from this 451 the y position I have defined it from 451 so you know uh, the y position where the y position of this first image is ending at that point I have defined the y position for of the second image fine so you know uh, when you will come on this application what is going to happen when you click here and when you will press enter so you will be able to see it uh, you know scrolling down and if you will press back backspace you will be able to see it scrolling up so that's how you can create a scrolling background using a text area defining images on the text area you know this is the component which provides us with a scrolling background which it can help us in creating a scrolling background fine hope you like the lecture please do like and subscribe to my channel and please do share the link of this video with your colleagues also thank you very much and god bless you all with a great future bye bye